Welcome back guys to the channel. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been really, really busy at work. Uh, we've been packing a lot of sweet potatoes uh, for orders and we just been getting out late. I just haven't really had time to upload any videos, but have some time today. I'm going to upload a little bit. Um, we're going to be working on the Tahoe today. We're going to finally paint the grill and the emblems on the front and back show you how i do that and uh put it back together probably maybe paint the 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 lights open them up and i'll show you what i'm talking about maybe open them up and paint all these uh chrome inserts on the inside right there just to to match the white on the outside or just paint it black and uh paint this chrome bezel and we'll get started on this one and i'll show you how i do that Well, first things first, guys, I gotta blow out this driveway or this garage. There's a bunch of leaves on here, so I gotta blow it out so I can have a good work surface to work on. So, my leaf blower. <laughs> What I'm doing, I'm breaking off all these clips right here. That, that, these. Let's see, I broke all these on. There's only to separate the chrome grill from the black housing. That way I can sand it correctly and not have, not not have like overspray or like to, so they can have a better bond so they won't peel up later down the road if i do it like this then 
I know for sure I can get a better sand in there and then do it right. That's what I'm paint. White. I'm gonna repaint this black. These inserts black. Yeah, yeah. sanding them maybe or hopefully I can get a coat of paint on them today hopefully. now I gotta wash these the bumper over there is drying I mean, ain't really nothing special but I gotta wash this rinse all this stuff off and then start sanding
So these are all the parts that I'm gonna paint. Uh, I'm gonna paint these. I'll paint these uh black. I'm thinking either black in the inside and white on the outside. But if I do white on the outside and the grill's gonna be white, you're not gonna see it. So I think I'm just gonna do black so you can cut up the white and then white and white the bow tie. Same with the back. Black and then white on the inside. These I'm still debating. They're just the uh, trim inserts on top of the headlights. I don't know if I should do white or black. I'm still debating. I'm gonna think about that first. The grill for sure. It's gonna be white. Um, headlights. I'm gonna do a build on them. Uh, separate video. I'm just gonna open them up. I'm just gonna not gonna do nothing crazy. I'm just gonna paint this chrome inserts and that one. I'm not sure if white or black yet. Um, I'll see when I get there. Uh, this. Uh, daytime run light that they they have is you can see it like it's nice but it's just a bunch of little what you call little dots little leds i mean they're not bad but i think i think i'd rather have like a full strip of leds on it but i'll see once i get there too and the grill the inside of it i'm just gonna respray this these honeycomb parts just black gloss black with clear on it and that's it I mean, the grill is going to be the stock grill. I'm just going to paint everything. So, I don't want no chrome on it. So, I guess I'll get started on that. And then, uh, I have to, I already washed the Tahoe. I'm just going to let, the, let it dry. But, I'm trying to think. The only thing, other thing that I'm going to do right now is just clean up the back where that badge was at. Just to have it ready for whenever I get done. See. Go ahead and put that badge on there. Just clean this up. Show you how I do that. It's not too bad, so I'm just gonna get some regular alcohol right now. Just rub it off. Off the of alcohol. And clean clean it up a little bit. And if that doesn't really clean it up, I'll get some of this bug and tar remover from Stoner's and uh clean that up. I mean, you can see it right there. I'm going to wipe this whole panel right here. So, most of it's been front and clear. Might use some of this. It's probably the tire room. Let it dwell on it for a little bit. If this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna stick out the polish and give it polish.
So you can still see some of it, so. Then I'm gonna get the polisher up. Let's try to remove much of that, that line, that outer line. Then before, put everything back. So I put this bit again. Now I'll hit it again. Still see the marking on it, so I think what I'm gonna do is just get that polish. Just polish that. Or I could leave it there so I can know where where to put it at. Just gonna use a white foam pad. So yeah, that's how I do it. 